Tonight, we witness an epic showdown that's been brewing for millennia. Giant murder hornets with their powerful stings and deadly venom are pitted against the resourceful Japanese honeybees known for their strength in numbers and unique defensive tactics. The murder hornet is a deadly predator with a sting that can take down even the toughest foes. Fighting against it is the humble but heroic honeybee, a vital player in our ecosystem with a few surprising tricks up its sleeve. Which of these incredible insects will emerge victorious? Will the murder hornets decimate their opponents with sheer brute force? Or will the honeybees outsmart their deadly adversaries with clever teamwork? It's murder hornets versus bees. Round one. In the blue corner, we have the fearsome murder hornet, the largest hornet species in the world. Measuring one and a half to two inches in length and with a wingspan of approximately three inches, these hornets are formidable in size and power. Their stinger, about a quarter of an inch long, injects potent venom that contains a mix of eight different chemicals and causes severe pain and tissue damage. Unlike bees, murder hornets can sting multiple times without losing their stinger. Their venom is so potent that it kills 30 to 50 people annually in Japan alone. Murder hornets are equipped with solid mandibles to decapitate honeybees during attacks. A small group of hornets can decimate an entire hive in a matter of hours, tearing through the bee defenders and feeding the larvae to their own young. They're also incredibly aggressive and territorial, especially when their nests are threatened. In the red corner, we have the resilient Japanese honeybee. These bees might seem unassuming compared to their larger adversaries, but they've evolved unique defensive tactics against hornet attacks. An average honeybee only measures about half an inch in length. But their primary defense mechanism against murder hornets is forming a bee ball, where hundreds of bees swarm a single hornet and vibrate their muscles to generate heat. This creates a temperature of around 117 degrees Fahrenheit, which is lethal to hornets, but tolerable for the bees. When a hornet is detected, the bee retreats into its hive, luring the hornet inside, where it's overwhelmed by the bee ball. Round two. The murder hornet is equipped with a fearsome array of weapons. Its primary offense tool is its powerful stinger, capable of injecting a potent venom known as mandaritoxin. This venom causes extreme pain, swelling, and in severe cases, tissue damage and death, particularly after multiple stings. Unlike bees, the murder hornet's stinger is not barbed, which allows it to sting repeatedly, making the murder hornet a terrifying adversary in battle. Another critical weapon in the murder hornet's arsenal is its strong mandibles. These mandibles are used to decapitate honeybees during attacks on hives. The hornets can kill up to 40 bees per minute, and they use these powerful jaws to crush and carry the bee bodies back to their nests to feed their larvae. When a scout hornet finds a beehive, it marks it with a pheromone, signaling other hornets to follow and initiate a coordinated assault. This is known as the slaughter phase, where a small group of hornets can decimate an entire bee colony within hours. The Japanese honeybee counters with innovative defensive tactics. Their primary defense against murder hornets is forming a bee ball. This collective heating strategy effectively cooks the hornet alive, highlighting the bee's remarkable teamwork and adaptive defense mechanisms. Japanese honeybees exhibit high levels of social organization and complex communication. They use the famous waggle dance to relay information about food sources and threats, demonstrating sophisticated collective intelligence. 
Will brute strength and venomous stings overpower clever teamwork and adaptive tactics? Stay tuned as this battle heats up in this epic clash of the insect titans. Round 3 The stage is set and the air is thick with tension. In one corner of the hive, a lone murder hornet scouts the area. Sensing the rich honey stored inside, it makes its move. The hornet, using its keen sense of smell and powerful jaw, easily breaches the hive entrance. The Japanese honeybees inside sense danger and begin to mobilize. The hornet attacks first, targeting the bees nearest the entrance. Using its strong mandible, it decapitates several bees in rapid succession, their bodies falling lifelessly to the hive floor. The bees retreat, luring the hornet deeper into the hive. Encouraged by its initial success, the hornet follows, unaware that it's stepping into a trap. As the hornet moves further into the hive, the bees begin their counterattack. Hundreds of bees swarm the hornet, forming a dense ball around it. They vibrate their flight muscles furiously, generating intense heat. The temperature inside the bee ball rises quickly, reaching up to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Within minutes, the hornet succumbs to the heat and dies. However, the battle has casualties on both sides. Several bees also perish in the intense heat, their sacrifice ensuring the colony's survival. In this intense and dramatic showdown, the Japanese honeybees emerge victorious. Their innovative defense strategies and ability to work collectively are decisive factors in defeating the fierce murder hornet. The bee ball, a natural yet sophisticated defense mechanism, effectively neutralizes the hornet's primary strengths, its lethal stinger and powerful mandible. The bee's collective effort and ability to leverage their environment ensures survival against even the most fearsome predators. And there you have it, folks, in this incredible showdown between the fearsome murder hornet and the resilient Japanese honeybees, the bees emerge victorious. But the excitement doesn't end here. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we witness another epic clash of the titans. Coming up, we pit the ferocious Komodo dragon against the mighty crocodile. Who will reign supreme in this battle of ancient reptiles? Will the Komodo dragon's venomous bite and stealthy approach outmatch the crocodile's brute strength and aquatic agility? Find out on the next round of Versus.